Hey there everyone, Arif here from On Microsoft, and today we'll be going through a leaked build of Windows 10X. This build was available as a VHD or virtual hard drive file on the internet, and I installed it in uh, Hyper-V in Windows 10 so I could see some of the difference between dual screen windows and single screen windows 10X. You do need a Microsoft account to set this up, but once you set up and log in, you'll see the new taskbar as well as the new action center which is the same as the one from the dual screen version of Windows 10X with a lot of sliders and buttons and a lot of fluid design when compared to the original version of Windows. Uh, there's also this new keyboard which I believe was tested in the dev branch a couple of months ago and then was removed. It's a lot more fluid, has some cleaner animations as well as a dedicated emoji button uh, and a new inking, a new inking system as well. And let me not forget the center start menu button, which is the same as what we saw when Windows 10X was for dual screen devices only. You'll also see the new notifications on the top, which uh, a lot more clean and concise when compared to what we get in Windows. Something that's uh, much appreciated. Now we'll look at the new start menu, which is a little more st static compared to what we have currently in Windows 10, with a row of icons and no live tiles. Uh, it's also powered by Microsoft Edge, since uh, this leaked Windows 10X build has no support for Win32 apps, so everything you're gonna do has to be done on the web or using Microsoft Store apps. I'll also mention the search bar on the top which lets you search your documents and search Bing for certain things on the web. Now we'll take a look at the modern file explorer app which is a bit different now. It has a sidebar but you only could access your downloads in this build. You can't access your photos or videos or my PC as you would on regular Windows 10. And it's also worth noting that there's some new iconography. You'll see some clear menu buttons with the new icons that match what we've seen so far in Windows 10. Uh, here is a look at the version number if that's what you care about and you also see that minimizing and maximizing the app Causes it to bounce a bit which is new kind of like what you see in Mac OS or in Chrome OS And there's a lot more fl uh, fluent design elements like rounded corners Which makes Windows 10x look a lot more modern and clean compared to what we've seen in legacy Windows 10 so far Now we'll get into split screen where you can split apps or snap apps. You just drag from the top of the app in the title bar and drag it to the side of the screen that you want it on and you'll be able to snap the app to one side of the screen or the other and do some multitasking. There's also the task view button which summons a view of all your open apps and will help you snap other open apps that you have running in the background. Uh, there's no windowed support, uh, it's just like Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 where you can um, only m make apps full screen. You can't drag them around like you can in regular Windows 10, um, as I'll show you here with Microsoft Edge. It's uh, also worth noting that the Windows 10X leaked build doesn't come with a mail and calendar app built in. I had to download it through the Microsoft Store. But this is the same UWP mail and calendar app that you see uh, in regular Windows 10. There also is a remote desktop app built into this leaked Windows 10X build. It's the same one as regular Windows 10. Uh, I tried hooking up my PC to it, but the app is very buggy. Obviously because we're running this build in a virtual machine, so you're not getting 100% performance.
Another note is that since Windows 10X is dependent on the internet and Edge, if you open a document that you have stored in your OneDrive that shows up in the start menu, it will open it in Microsoft Edge. As I'm opening this Word document here, give it some time to load because it is a VM after all. But if you do have local documents saved, as I have this sample one saved in my downloads folder, you could open them like normal, but instead of using the Win32 version of Office, it'll use the Microsoft Store version of Office, which I don't have installed on this VM because it I tried and it took forever to install and it failed. So yeah, it's a VM, so you gotta be patient. <laughs> And now we'll take a look at some of the leaked apps that were included in this leaked Windows 10X build. These are some of the stocked Windows 10 apps that you get in regular Windows 10, like Calculator and To-Do, News, Weather, Photos, uh, file, Files app, uh, the Microsoft Store. But uh, in this, because this is a VM, a lot of the apps fail to load or will load and will just simply crash. So I can't really show them to you here. But you could go to the Microsoft Store and download any app you want and check them out and see if they work. I suggest you download the, the VHD and install it in your VM to see how it works for you. But for me, a lot of these apps simply don't work, except for Snip and Sketch. That was just a quick look at this leaked Windows 10X build. Uh, follow us on onmicrosoft.com for more. Thanks for watching everyone and see you again soon.